38 years. That's how long I've been doing fishing television. But in all of that time and hundreds of episodes, there's one thing I can think of I've never even attempted until today. Something very unique in a very familiar place. I'm glad you're along with us. The next half hour should be very interesting. Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. Hi everybody and welcome into our show. I'm coming to you today from a very familiar destination for me and one of my favorites. This is Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. It is a fantastic vacation destination with white sand beaches, beautiful turquoise water, fun things for the kids to do all over the place, fantastic seafood. But if you know me, you know I'm here for the fishing. Now, as I mentioned, there's something that I've never even attempted in all my years of doing fishing television. I caught flounder while I was fishing for other species, but I've never gone out to target that species and do an entire half hour episode just on flounder. We attempt that today and we're going to be doing it out of my dream fishing machine. This is my brand new Mamba 24 VX. It's custom built and designed by my good friends Jared and Jim Poole down in Corpus Christi, Texas. Everything in this boat is custom and top of the line down to the finest detail. I'm going to be showing you more of that about this boat a little bit later in this episode. Now while we're out doing that we're going to be taking you around the region for this week's fishing reports from our expert team of insider reporters from lakes, rivers, and bays, right where you live, both freshwater and saltwater. So right now, the Mamba 24 VX goes back in the back bays behind Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Alabama. Next time you see me, I hope to be tied into a flounder. Right now, let's get this started back at the studio in your weekend plan. Hey everybody, these salooner tables are indicating fair game fish activity both days this weekend. Peak activity begins in the early morning around 4.37 on Saturday and 5.21 Sunday. Peak daytime activity begins around 5.02 on Saturday afternoon and 5.46 Sunday afternoon. Depending on your location, the sun will rise around 6.19 and set around 8.37 and evenings will have a moon that is 78% visible. Stick around, we've got fishing reports from across the area on the way. Plus, I'll return with Bassmaster Elite Angler Lee Livesey to answer this week's Ask the Pro question. Got it. There we go. Here we go. Nice flounder. We got a fish. Here we go, buddy. We, we're on, we're, look at him jumping. Stay on there, stay on there, buddy. You stay on there. Boy, he is one kind of fighter. And got him in the net. All right, look at this. Game on, ladies and gentlemen, game on. We have caught a flounder, trying to catch a flounder. And we have got a start. Look how deep he ate my bait. Yeah. Well, welcome to Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Home of some of the best fishing on the entire Gulf Coast. And as I mentioned today, we're doing something that I've 38 years of doing this for a living and I've never done this before. I've never gone out and specifically targeted flounder until today and we have a start and a really nice one beautiful well we're gonna let him go back today and i hate to do this oh i love flounder in fact i'm gonna tell you after a while my favorite way to cook and eat flounder white on one side mottled on the other lay on the bottom and eat back he goes but we're letting him go today oh wow <laughs> he got me 
Well, so let me tell you about Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. This fishery, this whole complex, begins on the east end down at Perdido Bay and Big Lagoon, which is almost right on the Alabama-Florida border. And then it works its way through Wolf Bay and then a bunch of smaller bays, comes out to Mobile Bay, and then over to Dauphin Island is kind of the west end of this whole complex. And then you've got the whole offshore deal, catching all kinds of the offshore and nearshore species outside. But we're fishing in the back bay today behind Gulf Shores, specifically targeting these flounder. These things go in cycles. So they've been in a down cycle where it's been kind of hard to catch them, not very many of them. But just this year, the flounder fishery has really come back here at Gulf Shores. So we hope to exploit that and expose it and give you a little information on how you can catch them. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolinas report this week brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina, the leader in water sports along the Grand Strand. We get you out. We make sure you live like a local when you're in town. Visit crazysistermarina.com. You can find out about all the things we offer from going out and seeing the dolphins, jet skis, kayaks, paddle boards. How about all our incredible boats, the fish finder fleet. Make sure you visit us at crazysistermarina.com and book your trip today. We're gonna to talk fresh water and I'll tell you what, a lot of things going on, but it's that time of the year. We're on Lake Joe Cassie. If you get in that deeper water up by the dam, trolling those spoons way 80 to 100 foot deep, you're gonna find those nice rainbows and browns right now. Get out there and enjoy a great time. And I'll tell you what, also, another really exciting thing here in South Carolina is just announced that 2022 Bass Masters National College Championship will be coming right here to my home county, Georgetown County in Georgetown, South Carolina. They're gonna be for, in for some exciting fishing and all the rivers, CNT River, Black River, Waccamaw River, PD River, will be producing great fish. Fish smarter, not harder, and keep that chaos organized. Got him. Flounder. There we go. I got one of them. All right, hang on, buddy. It's a good one, too. Hang on, partner. It's a good one. Here we go. And got him. All right. And let me lock the trolling motor down so we don't drift in on those rocks. And the hook came out of his mouth just right. There we go, that's just a good solid keeper flounder. They gotta be 14 inches long. You can keep five per person per day currently as of when this show was shot. And you might be watching this years later because things stay on the internet for a long time. But uh, that's a good keeper flounder right there. White on one side, speckled on the other. They lay like that, camouflaged in that sand right on the bottom. And when that little jig comes hopping by, they just reach up there and snatch it. All right, back he goes. Let me tell you, this is so similar to bass fishing. I grew up bass fishing since I was a, a boy. And this is as close to bass fishing as saltwater fishing gets, in my opinion, because these fish, they live around the same kind of structure and cover that a bass does in freshwater. So you can see this is prime right here. We'll fish down all this good looking stuff. If it looks good, it may have a flounder sitting right in front of it. That's the key here. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Academy Sports and Outdoors, making it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Visit Mississippi, Wanderers Welcome, Power Pole, Total Boat Control, Balls Out, Made in the USA, Heavy Duty Mounts for your fish finders. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh man, we caught us a big old nice flounder. Got him. Got one. 
I don't know, this is not acting like a flounder. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. It's a big one. It's a big one. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Big one. How about this? Woohoo! Man. Looky here what we've done. <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish. Oh, man. We caught us a big old nice flounder. That's a, mm, that's 18, 19 inches, something like that. Let me put him right here just for a second. I'm going to get us out of here. I want you to look right here. We're right here, right on those rocks. He was right on, that's an old boat ramp right there. Such a cool thing about these fish is where you think they should be is where they are. That is a gorgeous specimen right there. We're going to put him right back. I should be keeping these today. I got a lot of friends who are going to be really upset with me. We're having a good day and some good action. Let me tell you a couple of things. If you're going to come target flounder like this, there's a couple of things. Number one, you need to be relatively adept at casting. You need to be able to pick a target and put your bait somewhere within a couple of feet of that target because these fish are on the likely places and you got to be able to put your bait there. Secondly, you need to be mobile. You see, I've got my motor guide XI-5 saltwater trolling motor up here and I've got my remote control around my neck and I am constantly moving. A lot of the fish in here for redfish, even some speckled trout, sheephead, you pull down or you anchor yourself down and you fish in one spot. This flounder fishing is not like this. You've got to cover water. So I've probably covered, just for the fish I've caught so far, I bet I've covered a mile. You need to employ these techniques that we're talking about today on the show. I've had lots of good guides who have taught me this stuff and it really does work. That's a really nice one right there. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Lose, Feel the Difference, Mamba Boats, Ride with Pride, Strike King, Taiwan On, Glacier Glove, stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Fishing Specialties, makers of the premier mount assembly for live sonar. Dude. Yeah. Beautiful flounder. We are catching them today, boys and girls. Got him, got him, there we go. Another one, right by that dock. All right, shake that head, shake that head. Right by that dock where he was supposed to be. This is a little smaller one here, but that's all right. He's a flounder. All right, there we go. Here we go, flounderooski. And the hook came out of his mouth too. There we go. There's another flounder. That one would be close to a keeper, maybe not quite, and maybe a keeper. Back he goes. Let me show you where that fish was before I drift into these rocks. See this old, what used to be a dock, and it's all fallen down. And right where it intersects, right up here with this retaining wall, I threw right by one of those piers and he got it before it even hit the bottom. They're just a lot of fun to catch and they're great eating. And let me tell you this, for all time, one of my favorite fish dishes is flounder train. So it's a, it's a combination of some crawfish and some dressing and some spices. Look it up. You catch some of these flounder, do yourself a favor and try a flounder poncha train. It is absolutely incredible. Hey y'all, it's my favorite part of the show. The Alabama, Mississippi, and Georgia Coastal Fishing Report. The segment's brought to you by me, Captain Patrick Garmerson with Ugly Fishing. 
A guy down here in southwest Alabama or all around Mobile Bay. You can check out my website at uglyfishing.com. If you got any uh, questions or, uh, or checking on availability outside of my website, you can call me or shoot me a text at 251-747-1554. The Alabama fishing has been absolutely on point with speckled trout fishing has been the main focus. Uh, speckled trout in the shallow waters using top water, uh, some slick lures like I've mentioned in the past. Uh, red snapper season is open, so on uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, the red snapper season is open and it's been pretty good. Mississippi fishing is on fire for speckled trout. I talked to Kyle Johnson with Coastal Outfitters. He's in Biloxi, Mississippi. He said that just about any of his pink lures is getting chewed to pieces. He said that speckled trout fishing in Mississippi is probably the best he's seen in about three years. And then I talked to guys out along the Georgia coast and they said the uh, shark fishing around the shrimp boats is really, really hot, keeping a lot of customers entertained. Thanks for tuning in. Y'all keep in mind with my guys from the Speckle Truth say, and that's keep what you need and leave the rest. Got him, got him. There we go. Good one. Slow down, buddy. Slow down, buddy. God, he's going crazy. Look at this fish going. Man, they are mean flounder here in Gulf Shores. Swim in my net. Yes. All right. Another good one. Man, we are, we're kind of catching them all size today. Got a couple of smaller ones. Caught a great big one. And that's just another good solid flounder right there. Come on. He's wild. And he's got it way down there too. They are eating my plastic grub now all the way down in his mouth. Look at that dude. Yeah. Beautiful flounder. We are catching them today, boys and girls. All right, I'm going to get the pliers out after this fish. And while I do, I want to mention something. Fishing today out of my brand new Mamba 24 VX. I mentioned it at the beginning of the show. It is the custom classic ride of all bay boats. It's a brand new boat company just being introduced to the marketplace by my good friends Jared and Jim Poole down in Corpus Christi, Texas. And they're custom building this line of boats right out of their brand new plant there in Corpus. This boat has got so many cool features on it. Let's get this flounder back here real quick. They got to do that. Did he get my lens? No, he didn't, but he got my glasses. <laughs> okay, so this Mamba's got an incredible hull. It's got a, a V-shape up in the front of the bow so that it will absolutely break big waves and big chop, but on the back of it, it's got a step pad. It's kind of like a bass boat, so that at higher speeds and a little bit calmer water, you can trim it way up, go fast, get it up on that pad, and it gives you a nice, fast, smooth, stable ride. Check out the new Mamba boats. Come here to Gulf Shores in Orange Beach and check out the flounder fishing because we have had ourselves a really good day. My first trip ever targeting flounder. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury, Go Boldly, Lorance, America's number one fish finder, Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Plan or book your fishing charter at orangebeach.com. Motor Guides Tour Pro with GPS Anchor, powered by passion. Coastline Trailers, built by fishermen for fishermen. Welcome back everyone. Let's get right to your Ask the Pro question for this week. Eduardo wants to know, what is the one single lure every fisherman should have in their tackle box at all times? Good question. For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler, Lee Livesey. 
One lure you should always have, no matter where you're at or who you are, is a square bill crankbait. You can always go down the bank, freshwater, saltwater, north, south, in the middle with a square bill crankbait and get a fish to bite. Thank you, Lee. If you want some help from one of the pros, simply go to letsfishtv.com and follow that Ask the Pro link to submit a question. Here's today's Right Stuff, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Next up on the Academy Right Stuff, it's the right gear to go flounder fishing, catch some nice ones like we did today here at Gulf Shores. Really, you just need a good inshore rod and reel. This is my Lose Inshore Speed Stick Rod with my Lose Inshore Speed Spin Spinning Reel. Had braided line on there, about 20 pound test with about a three foot Strike King Contra fluorocarbon leader on the end of it. The bait was the simplest you can possibly imagine. It's just a little two and a half inch plastic imitation shrimp on a lead jig head. Now it's a scented shrimp and I think scent plays a real important role in fishing for these flounders. So you want to buy one of the scented varieties of plastic imitation shrimp. I also want to give you some information on where we stayed here at Gulf Shores. This is a fantastic organization. It's Lucky Bird Vacations. We stayed in their property called Sandlot and it's right off the beach, right in Gulf Shores, centrally located to all the restaurants, all the nightlife, everything you could possibly imagine, literally within a few blocks of this property. But they're a boutique organization. They deal in properties all over Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, including the newest development in Gulf Shores. They have the rentals to that as well and they get you discounts if you stay in one of their properties they get you discounts to restaurants and shops shopping all over the gulf shores and orange beach area you can contact lucky bird vacations the contact information you see on your screen scotty scheffler is one of the young up and coming hot pga tour golfers on the pro golf trail in 2022, he won his first major tournament of his career when he won the Masters. Afterwards, in his interview, he talked about how nervous he was going into his final day and how his faith played an important role in him winning that tournament. Here's what he said. My identity isn't in a golf score. My wife Meredith told me this morning that if I didn't win this tournament or never won another one, she would still love me. Jesus would still love me and it wouldn't change who I am. All I wanted to do was glorify God and that's the main reason I'm here. We could all take a lesson from Scotty Scheffler. Life is always much bigger and there are always things much more important than any one thing you do. God and your destiny are always bigger than your job or any other single event in your life. And if we all took that lesson, we could live more calmly and more peacefully in the most stressful moments of our lives. I hope you enjoyed our trip to Gulf Shores in Orange Beach, Alabama, anywhere near as much as we did. The beaches, the water, the activities, the nightlife, the dining are all superb, and you can get all the information to book your trip, the website address you see on your screen at Gulf Shores and Orange Beach Tourism. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next week. Until then, I'm Barry Stokes saying be safe, have fun. Let's fish everybody. Bye bye y'all.